Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on the Photos app settings. All right, so we're going to take a look at the settings for the Photos app um, mm -hmm. on your iPad or iPhone. We're looking at it on an iPad right now. It's right. a little bit of a bigger screen, but it's the same on your iPhone as mm -hmm. it is on the iPad. Just makes it nicer for filming. Exactly. So we're going to go into the Settings app. <clears throat> And the difference here is on your iPhone, you would only be seeing the left side, and as you tap here, it would bring up the right side. But here we have a bigger right. screen, so you can see them both. So on the phone, you'd see this, and then you go right. into that. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down, and we're going to find on the left side, or the first page in your iPhone, the photos and camera settings. And it's going to bring up the photos and camera settings on the right here. And we're going to talk about the first setting, which is the iCloud Photo Library. Yep. Now, what this option allows you to do, and this was new with iOS 8, um, it allows you to keep a library of your photos up in the cloud. Mm -hmm. The high res. The high res. So yep. what it will do when you take pictures on your device um, is it will upload, upload the high resolution up right. to a photo library in iCloud mm -hmm. that you can access. You can access it um, from your computer, from any computer. You can go to iCloud.com yep. and took a look at it. And what it will do then is it will push pictures back down to all your iOS devices mm -hmm. that are logged in with the same Apple ID. Right. Always important. Fantastic feature. Um, the, the great thing about the iCloud Photo Library is any changes that you make on any of your devices will be reflected on all your devices. Right. Before that, it wasn't that way. That's <clears throat> right. So if you spend a lot of time editing pictures on your iPad, guess what? They were only edited on your iPad, not, not your phone, phone right. not your computer, or anywhere else. Mm -hmm. So this is a great feature. If you don't have it on, turn it on. It will take room in the cloud. You might have to buy right. a little more yeah. storage. It's so cheap, though. So cheap. I just set a client yeah. up, and we were we were laughing. Like yeah. 50 gigs was like a dollar a month. Yeah, it's really nothing. <laughs> so it's a good thing to do. Um, so turn that on. When you have that on, uh, you have in the next area, you yep. have some options. Yep. And. Uh, one thing you want to make sure is checked is optimize iPad storage. Or iPhone storage. Right. And yeah. what that means is that on this device, the low-res viewing uh, files of the photos will be present, and the high-res will be stored up in the cloud. Right. So if you had it on download and keep originals, then all the high-res would be down here, and it would take up all your space. But if you notice that in the gray here, and these little gray... The, the text in gray in the settings whenever you're looking, they always tell you things. Very you're ever wonder, wondering, like, right. what does that mean? It usually tells you. Right. And right here it says, if your iPad is low on space, full resolution photos and videos are automatically placed with optimized versions. So the key is, if your iPad is low on space. Right, right. So if your iPad is or iPhone is not low on space, it might keep, you know, some on here. Right. Um, fully accessible by your other devices on the same Apple ID, but, um, so. It's nice for editing. <clears throat> yeah. I'll tell you why that's nice. Um, every time you, when you go into a picture and you pinch to zoom it or you go into edit or something like that, it's going to pull down the high res right. in order for you to do that. Well, if you're not on Wi-Fi, you can't edit the high res. Right. And share it and things like that. So, um, yep. or if you're on slow Wi-Fi and things like that or slow internet. So right. that's why it's right. a nice feature. But for most of us, usually space in the phone is a problem, in right. particular the phone. Um, a lot of people get the, the lower gigabyte phones, and so you want to make sure optimize iPad storage is on, right. so then you won't be eating up your space. Right, which is another thing that I'd like to mention. If you're going to take pictures with your phone, don't get the smallest I one. I know. At the least get the 64. Yeah. I've, we've got some clients who have a lot of trouble with the 16. Mm -hmm. They have to be deleting stuff all the time out of emails, out yep. of texts, and it's just a hassle. It is. Um, the next one down here is upload to my photo stream. And this is sort of working off the old system, before mm -hmm. system mm -hmm. um, iOS 8 and iCloud Photo Library. Uh, we used to have use something called photo stream to send photos between your different devices and up to the cloud and back down and things like that. So with this, this if you turn this on, if you have an old device that the, isn't set up right. and doesn't have iCloud Photo Library on it yet... Or, or can't or maybe, have it. Or may never because right. it's too old. But maybe you right. still want to have your your current photos and things like that on. Just put right. this on. It's sort of a bygone feature, right. but you might have an old device Eventually that uses it. Eventually it'll probably go away. Right. Right. 
Next we have upload photo bur- upload upload first photos. <laughs> Tongue twister. <laughs> I really, I felt kind of like Dr. Seuss there. Um, this is a feature uh, when you take a photo and you pr- you hold down a little bit, it creates what's called a burst photo. Right. And it takes so many per second. A lot. A yeah. lot. Right. And um, they can you you know you might want to do this in an action shot where people are moving or things, and then you can go back later and look at them. And um, we cover all that in editing in our TechFit editing photos. Um, but also, what can happen is you could do it by accident, which mm-hmm. I qu- I do quite. <laughs> if you press too hard and you can get quite a lot of photos being yeah, uploaded and eating right. space on your cloud in fact my son uh, kept getting these messages that his iCloud photo storage was full yeah. and I was like why yeah. he's 11 right, right. <laughs> and we found a burst which had 999 photos oh my gosh. I think he thought it was funny you know sure he them. so once I deleted all those except for one picture his storage was fine. Yeah, yeah. So I usually leave this on. Right. Okay. The next thing is uh, iCloud photo sharing. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so that's going to allow you to create shared albums um, to share photos between mm-hmm. other iCloud users. And right. we're going to talk about that um, in our next tech video. Okay. Right. So that's where you turn this on or off, which... You definitely want it on. Yeah, I don't know why you wouldn't want it on. And the last one here is just a viewing feature, um, Photos tab, tabs. This says Summarize Photos, so I'm going to turn that on. Um, when you um, are in the year mode for viewing, um, it, what it does, instead of showing you actually all the pictures that you took in that year. Thumbnails which, of all the right. pictures, it'll summarize. It'll summarize and show you a lower amount. And again, if you look at our tech bit on viewing and organizing photos, we will show you how to view them by year. Right. One other thing I wanted to mention up here at the top is this is a place where you can come to see what's going on with your iCloud photo library activity. Mm -hmm. Um, It's going to show you when it last updated and what it needs to do. Now, it says Wi-Fi required two photos to upload here. Mm Mm-hmm. So uh, we know that there are two photos still sitting that have been taken on this iPad that need to be uploaded. Mm -hmm. But until you connect to Wi-Fi, um, it won't do that. So you have to be on Wi-Fi in order to to have that feature work. Right. Again, the gray text is very helpful. That's right. Start reading it. (laughs) Yep, yep. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Bit. And please subscribe to our channel.